You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? Hello everyone, it's me, Queenie Boppa, and I'm back for another episode of the Cozy Craft series. I'm pretty excited about this one. I think we're up to episode 6 now. Um, I've got a lot planned for this episode. We're going to be building so much stuff and I am quite ready to just jump into it. So you know the drill. We cut most of everything that's not, you know, fun building or exploring out. Because I just feel like it makes it a little bit more concise. So we might as well just get to it, I think. Alright, so we're just going to dump some stuff so we can get all the um, inventory space that we may need. And then we're going to go get some wood, I think. Got so much stuff. <laughs> Alright, fucking spider. I mean, shoot. <laughs> Let's go. Alrighty. So we've got this patch over here, so we're going to clear out some trees and then we're going to put a tunnel between them because I'm so sick of having to climb this mountain every single time. So you see that little ledge over there? I'm thinking the tunnel's going to come out of there. So what I've got to do is clear some trees, make a pathway and figure out the coordinates on each side so that when I make a clear tunnel it's going to come out on the proper end. So that little lip there I think is going to be a perfect spot. Alrighty, here I think is good and I can build it up around, I think. So we're just going to make a 3x3. Three three. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Just trying to make it, we don't want to make it too obvious that we've cut a clear tunnel, but something so it's a little bit nice, you know? Alright, so I've speed this up for convenience because who wants to watch all of this mining? But I wanted to keep it in just in case you guys thought I was cheating or something. So we've made it out to the other side now and we've got the coordinates. So we're just going to just build straight through. Like, it's going to be so long. Speed. Alright, so on this screen I'm going to attach an image of what we're going for. So today I've gone on to... Um, Google and I've looked up tunnels and I couldn't find quite what I was looking for because I still wanted it to look like a little home and then after scrolling for quite a while I found this beautiful image and it's a little hobbit hole and I just think it would make a beautiful pathway so that's kind of what we're going for today so full credits to the creator and the link should be down below if you want to give them some credit all right so we've come out onto a tunnel which is kind of annoying we're just going to close this zombie in because who has time to deal with everything right now? Beautiful. All right. So we've got that clear tunnel straight the way through. Okay. I'm so excited. I mean, I feel like we're, it's not the biggest task that we're achieving today. Like... Even though we're not building an entire, you know, barn or a house or anything like that, it's still a pretty handy um, build tutorial. Well, tutorial? Does this count as a tutorial? I don't know. But super needed. Alright, so we're just going to put this down here, cover this hole. So we want it to look as natural as possible and we definitely don't want anything jump scaring us. So I've cut a lot of um, videos out of this. Um, well, video. <laughs> um, because I just didn't want it to be so clunky. I've gone into my inventory like 5,000 times. I've mined so much. I have done so much excavating and flattening. And I just figured, you know, besides the obvious demonstrating that I did actually get the wood, you know, demonstrating I did clear the pathway with little bits of snippets, I've tried uh, minimizing it as much as possible. Because this whole... Because this whole area, like this filming this video, took over, I don't know, two hours, I think. And I cut out so much of the, you know, miscellaneous. Like, you didn't need to see me cutting down, like, 500 trees or mining out 500 blocks. Like, I feel like that was just a bit excessive. So, I've tried doing us both a favor. Um, I still have the video, so if anyone is like, oh my god, this is fake or whatever, you know how they go. I definitely still have it and I'm sorry if it's not a good video and it's too many jump cuts but I this was so much back and forth and it was so boring but I 
I do think if anyone wants to watch this video and still, it, I was finding this so relaxing to build. I know, mining things out is so nice. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a, we're getting that kind of base image now, and I'm getting pretty happy with it. So if you can see, it's similar to the vo um, the photo that we showed you earlier, but I've added a little bit of my own touches to it because we didn't want it too similar, you know. Credit to the creator, like they've done a really good job. And obviously, you know, we're not going to copy it right out like we do with everything. Always got to add our own touches to it. And of course, the obligatory, more getting wood, more mining. I just, oh, this video was took so long to do and I am so happy that I managed to do it because I was putting it off for so long because who wants to do this amount of mining? But th the convenience of having to go, like having a tunnel from one side of the uh, mountain to the other just made it almost, I don't know, it just really helped it a lot. Um, but definitely we've put it on an angle so it's slightly up the mountain so we'll have to build a bridge I'm thinking I don't really have an image in mind for the bridge so we'll have to do some little fiddling but other than that I think having the tunnel in the bridge and we'll definitely add more bridges and pathways but just having that baseline would be so helpful make everything so much more quicker Oh, and yes, if you can't tell, I definitely filmed this video with no audio. Usually I do. I mean, sometimes, you know, it just happens. I wasn't able to film because my birds were noisy and my family was being noisy. So I hope you guys don't mind that this is a little bit of a voiceover. Alright, so the roof is slowly taking shape, but it's not exactly what I'm going for. But I think it's because it stands out too much from the mountain. So if we add a little bit more depth, I feel like it might make it more look like a hobbit hole rather than just a half-built house. We'll obviously have to add more dimension up to the roof, but for now it's fine, I think. Go away. Stupid skeleton. Okay, we're nearly done. I'm so excited. Obviously, I'll have to do the entire inside of the mountain, but that's for another day. Beautiful. Look at that. I feel like it's really coming together now. We'll have to add some, uh, you know, forestry and trees up there later, though. I almost feel like this area needs a window, but there's nothing on the inside, it's just a tunnel, so it's going to have to do, maybe I'll add like a lantern or something, or something feature. It's all looking pretty good. I'm thinking in the future, not in this episode, but for the bottom we'll make it a really natural you know wooden side walls like maybe dark oak or you know spruce or something like that and then for the floor we could make it a train tracks almost to transport the um you know wood or whatever oh my goodness that actually scared me <laughs> um transport you know whatever i'm mining on the other side so it's just quick transportation because i feel like that'd be so helpful but definitely a project for another day we've got so much more building to do but for now, I'm just going to add a little pathway just to add it more clarity because it's a long distance between the tunnel and the house and I'd hate to get lost and, you know, have to add extra time to my journey just because I couldn't find my exact way. beautiful all right so we're gonna start that um staircase now i just feel like adding the um 
like just an easier mode of transport to get up and down that mountain to the tunnel make it so much more easier like I could just keep doing like a pattern you know like a pathway down the mountain but I feel like this would help so much more add a little bit more depth as well make it this you know this island feel more like a home island mountain <laughs> oh friendly cow but you're not being very helpful oh I think I think I bought it too close. Right, I'm gonna have to remove everything I've just done, but don't worry, I will not make you watch everything. All right, so we've bought it over here, and now we're just gonna do the exact same thing, just a little bit further away, so we can make it up the mountain. Cause so I'd hate to have to excavate it, and there's like this weird hole in the mountain. I've done it before, and it doesn't look great. Beautiful. Right. And it'll definitely help with mobs having all these pathways with lights. We're going to add like um, uh, lanterns and stuff along the pathway too. But that sounds definitely like a decoration episode, I think. I don't know. I'm also thinking about adding little fences and stuff. Like around the mountain on the roof. Like a security guard. Like almost like an enclosure, if that makes sense. Not quite sure yet because it sounds like a lot of work. Beautiful. So it's starting to become daylight now. So now we won't have to battle with the mobs. <laughs> Pretty helpful at least. Oh, perfect. All right. So we're slightly off the path that I was hoping to get straight to. But at least we're close enough. Oops. Move. All right. So I'm not quite sure if I want this to be a straight path. But I'm thinking more like a windy road. So like a shortcut. And we don't want it to be too symmetrical. I think that looks good. Beautiful. We're actually getting somewhere now. So you can see how far I've come down. I don't think I'll bring it too close to the, you know, the house. We don't want it to be like a direct pathway, even though that'll be helpful in the future. But once we add more things around the house or even, you know, make the house bigger, it would be such a pain if we made all this pathway and then we'd have to dig it all up. Okay, slightly off the beaten path, but close enough. Widening it a little bit. I like it. Okay, I'm actually really happy with this. Look at this massive tunnel. This took so long, I don't even think you guys understand. Beautiful. So now we're just going to clear out some of the edges, get rid of some of the um, ores and stuff. I just think, you know, make it, if it's going to be like stone and grey, we might as well make everything stone and grey, you know? So obviously I'm putting it in cobble, but that'll be fixed later. But at least it's better than the mismatch. Alright, so now that we've done the front side, we'll do the other side. Building it up. And down. Well, it's getting night time already. It's so annoying. I think I've slept in days. Definitely going to get attacked by phantoms. I know it. Alright, so I've already broken through like so many tools. Perfect. I'm actually really liking it. It's such a cute little hobbit hole. The original one I think has a lot more depth and colour to it, but we're going for simple here. It doesn't need to be fancy. Alright.
I'm pretty happy with it. I'm actually feeling so accomplished this episode. Usually with like barns and stuff, it's over fairly quickly because you've just got to put the foundation in the roof and that's the hardest part. Alright, let's just fix this up. Make it a little bit more hobbity. Oops. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, oh well. Okay, go from there, upside down fence, upside down fence, and then we've got to do block, 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 block. And then a little lantern. Woohoo! And now we've just got to add a little bit more mountain around it because we want it to actually look like a hobbit hole, like it's come out of the mountain and not like we just placed it, you know, like it's just a front half of a house, like a set. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we just gotta build a little pot. What are you doing? Go away. Go away. Okay. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're just gonna build the rest of the pathway all the way down. So I've spread it out for your convenience yet again. Aren't I amazing? You can thank me now. Um, but we're gonna build a pathway. So you see where I'm standing. We're gonna extend it out to make it more flat. And then I think we're gonna just build it across. Um, so there's a lot of jump cuts in this area because I spent 90% of this video in my inventory. And I felt like you guys would get so annoyed with me if I every 10 seconds just clicked on my inventory. Cause it genuinely annoyed me too. But I feel like that might've been a bit nick picky. So if you guys don't like it, leave me a note down below and I'll definitely not do it for the next episode. But I thought it was, you know, it, it was bothering me, so I figured it would bother you too. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've put the staircase on a diagonal, it gives us some more space to extend the um, bridge. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm doing this. I have no reference image. I'm just going balls to the wall. Um, I probably shouldn't say that, but I said it anyway too late now. I'm not cutting it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so we've just got to get from this one half of the mountain to the other half. I could probably make another tunnel, but like, that is way too much effort. Alright, now that we've got the base of this on one side, we're going to extend it on the other and I think we're going to just, you know, strip the wood because it's a little bit too matchy-matchy with the rest of the forest around it. So in hoping that I'm stripping it, it'll look more like man-made, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know why I'm losing, using slabs here either. That seems like mm -mm, waste in materials to me, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, hindsight 2020. Oops. Okay, so now that we've done that side, we're just going to add the um, staircase to go up to the bridge just to connect them. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and up. Did I measure it right? No, I did not. And then one more. Beautiful. Alright, so now we're just going to excavate some of this and then connect them up and strip the wood. So now this is a very rough look of the bridge. Obviously I'm going to do it up later when I'm decorating my island, my mountain. Why do I keep saying island? We're not playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, but yeah, for right now it's fine. Okay, I think the staircase is done now. We just got to connect them up. Pretty happy with that. Um, I'm thinking of adding like a little 
you know, like supporting beams underneath, because right now it's literally just a floating bridge. Like it doesn't make any constructual like validity, but that's fine. We can fix that up later and we'll add a little bit more dimension. We might even make like archways coming off the bridge, going up like a, you know, like the Golden Gate Bridge or whatever. I don't know, whatever Americans have. <laughs> but yeah, for now it's fine. Crude construction. Yes, I am using a stone tool. We are not damaging our iron. <laughs> All right, now that we've got the bridge, we're just gonna add the fences in between just so we don't fall off somehow. I don't know. Oh, I miscounted three. Okay, the middle one's gonna be slightly wrong, but that's fine. All right, that's even now. And then we'll just duplicate it on the other side. Perfect, one side down, now do the other, and then we've just got to add the fences in between and maybe slabs, I'm not sure. If we have enough. Look at all the zombies on the side and they're oh goodness. Alright. Hello? How did you even get up there? Uh-oh. Okay, oh, not off the bridge, please. Bro, what's your problem? Leave me alone. Oh, look at down there in the water. That is beautiful. You see that little crevice? I think we're going to have to build something down there, I think. Alright, now to add some torches and then we'll finish the slabs. Okay, that feels wrong, but whatever. Beautiful. I've had such a good time. Look at our creation. Aren't they beautiful? A bridge and a little hobbit hole. Um, as usual, please check out my social medias. I post to YouTube three days a week. I post to Instagram maybe once a week if you're lucky and Twitter every single day. Thank you all so much for watching and credits to the inspo down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and see you later. Bye guys. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Hmm? Oh, my God.